I love Morro Bay in the early morning. It's usually foggy and uh, it's always beautiful. This is Morro Rock, which you can't see the top of right now for the fog. And uh, there's some surfers over here getting ready to go out and catch some waves. The sun hasn't come up here yet in Morro Bay. And uh, over there you can barely see the stacks from the, I don't know, power plant or something. They're going to tear those down. And Morro Bay itself is right over there. And today there's going to be a classic car show in Morro Bay. So I'll take you around and we'll look at some classic cars in downtown Morro Bay. There are some pretty good restaurants in Morro Bay, I have found, um, but one of my favorites is uh, right here, just to the right, um, I'm driving from the rock towards uh, Morro Bay here along the bay side. The bay is to my right, and uh, the docks are to my right, And uh, but this restaurant right here, Tognazzini's Dockside Restaurant is just really great. Uh, great menu, great prices, really good food, good service, and I can't recommend it more than that. So um, some of these other places right here uh, that I've tried, actually I haven't tried many, uh, but I did go over here to the uh, Little Hut, or Lil Hut. Uh, it's a little like tiki looking building over here on the right. And I wasn't so impressed with what they served there. So, different uh, different animal though. It's not even a sit down restaurant. You, you order at the window and then you go sit down. Um, so, over to the right here, you know, you there's just like a lot of restaurants and shops and stuff. This is kind of the main tourist strip here in Morro Bay. And, uh, We'll just go over here and get a look at the boats real quick. I'm driving. In case you hadn't noticed. And uh, there's a view of the bay proper. Morrow Bay. Let's turn these windshield wipers off. And shut down the engine here for a second. Just kind of see what I'm talking about. Let's uh, let's pan back a little. You get a wider view of the bay. And pan in a little bit. You see some boats here, and we'll zoom all the way in. You see there's some boats way out there, just moored in the bay. And that is Morro Bay. This is Main Street, Morro Bay, and this is kind of the downtown artsy, touristy area, you know, lots of restaurants and uh, little shops here and there to do your shopping. Uh, there's a pizza place over there and another pizza place over here, a beautiful mural over here. And uh, this is where the car show is going to be, right down here, downtown today. There's a cool little uh, tavern there called the Siren. Pretty decent food at reasonable prices. Good beer and they friendly locals. Kind of a, a fun joint, and they have music there sometimes. Here, let me zoom in on it a little bit. They have music there. You know, they book bands and stuff like that. So this is kind of good morning. This is kind of uh, downtown Morro Bay. Morro Bay does have a shopping center with an Albertsons and a Rite Aid and a McDonald's 
and there's even a Taco Bell here and there's auto parts stores and all of this is just a couple of minutes from the coast and there is this uh, plaque here for Morro Rock it says an important mariners navigational landfall for over 300 years chronicled in the diaries of Portola Friar Dresby, oh, Friar Crespi and Costanzo in 1769 when they camped near this area on their trek to find Monterey. Sometimes called the Gibraltar of the Pacific, it is the last in the famous chain of nine peaks which start in the city of San Luis Obispo. California registered historical landmark number 821 plaque placed by the State Department of Parks and Recreation in cooperation with the Morro Bay Chamber of Commerce and the San Luis Obispo County Historical Society, May 28, 1988. I am always really impressed by these guys who surf out here. Somebody was attacked and killed by a shark here only uh, months ago, but that doesn't seem to deter these guys from going back out there and surfing some more. And welcome to the Morro Bay Beach Inn in Morro Bay, California. That's where I'm staying here. And uh, that's the view from the Morro Bay Beach Inn. Very nice view of Morro Rock. And it's right here on Main Street in Morro Bay. And I'm going to be staying here for four nights, and I'm going to give you a review of it. Uh, so far, I'm very pleased. The room is clean, very clean. Price is low. And look how beautifully it's. Uh, they've been gardening here. And uh, it's beautifully immaculate little garden here. And They've got a fresh coat of paint on this building and on the fence around it. Everything is very well cared for. It's obviously, you know, it was a rundown motel that uh, this family bought up and they're fixing it up and they're doing a really good job. I'll show you the room inside later. It's, it's pretty nice, you know, it's a, not a lot to write home about, but they fix it up and put a couple of nice little custom touches. Right behind it, we have this little restaurant here, The Hungry Fisherman is open and so uh, I'm going to take a look at the menu here for the Hungry Fisherman and here is their menu at the Hungry Fisherman I've got it posted here grilled rock cod 1895 grilled calamari 1995 shrimp scampi 20 bucks camarones tequila 21 dollars grilled salmon so Looks like they got a nice little selection of seafood. They got pasta here, spaghetti marinara, 12 bucks, chicken fettuccine, 17 bucks. Shrimp scampi pasta, 18.95. And breakfast, you can get two eggs, hash browns or potatoes, toast upon request. Looks like you can get out of here with a pretty good breakfast for under $15 if you uh, want to or uh, they got some higher end stuff. Eggs Benedict $13.95. They've got Mexican dishes here, burritos, tacos, flautas, chili verde and el patron carnitas. Appetizers, chicken strips, calamari strips, clam strips, battered onion rings, quesadilla. Shrimp cocktail, crab cocktail, nachos, fried zucchini, and garlic bread. Homemade soups, salads, chef salad, 
shrimp Louie, Cobb salad, your usual salad menu here. Burgers, house sandwiches, chips, specialty sandwiches. So just a pretty cool all around American style restaurant here. The Hungry Fisherman. And uh, I'll uh, try it out during my stay here and we'll uh, add that to the video later. This is my little video tour of Morro Bay, California. Hope you enjoy it. All right, well, it's time for the classic car show in downtown Morro Bay. So here we go. Shall we? side. in one of these with my buddy when I was a teenager. We had one. Cool car. I wonder what all these people are in line for. This is a really long line of people. Goes all the way back. Goes all the way around the corner here. Oops. Oh, 
all the way around the corner. All the way down. What are they trying to get into? All trying to get into the Ocean View Garage. Interesting. Oh, as I did say, we could be Ocean View Garage. Barbecue. We have seen barbecue, apparently. Must be really good food. Amazing. So I guess that's the show pretty much there. Um, just this little stretch of street, but there are a bunch of cars parked over there at the Harbor House Motel. And I'll take you over there and show you what's there. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? They are really in a hurry. Always the classic DeLorean. Everybody loves it. Going doors. Using a little roadster. Very simple machine. Look at the suspension. There's like no shock absorbers. Back here you've got, you do have some springs, some coils to absorb the shock, but really not much else. So South Bay. Roadster. Did I forget to showcase this in Paula? Look how beautiful. This beautiful Impala. Very nice with the dual antennas. All, uh, all clean interior, all original. Very nice looking machine. The courier is moving out. on it. That light up. Oh no, they don't. I'll, uh, I guess I should also showcase this classic Bronco. It's actually quite beautiful. condition absolutely perfect interior original instrumentation just like you used to romp around in when you were a teenager Bronco El Camino arrived in his parking lot. Almost backed into the Cobra. The guy almost threw his own body in between the El Camino and his Cobra.
3 Montego. It's uh, Mercury Montclair. Montclair. 390. Mercury. Howdy. Marauder. Montclair Marauder. Mercury Montclair Marauder. Look at that beautiful ornament in the trunk. Montclair Marauder. Cool. Alright, and as we approach the Harbor House Hotel, Harbor House Motel. We see a bunch of other classic cars here. It's a beautiful old Fairlane 500 convertible. All these cars are in like pristine condition. They're so nice. Oh, the interior is perfect. And the instrumentation is all original and in perfect condition. Fairlane. That's so cool. And over here we got an old, what is it? Ford, Ford Deluxe V8. V8 Ford Deluxe. Convertible. It's the car that everybody wanted back in the late 40s, early 50s. Oh, 1940. 1940. Beautiful detail. And the tone signals. Oh, wow, the interior is all cozy. Instrumentation on the dash is very beautiful. Headlights are all cool. Detailing on that headlight. Fog lights. Beautiful detailing on that. Deluxe V8. So cool. And here is the Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile. 1941, it says on the license plate. This beautiful decoration on the front. Just round headlights, but with these really cool, like, turn signal things. And beautiful, sleek styling. Not a great hood ornament. Look at that hood ornament. Got some newfangled see through plastic hood ornament. Tinted windows on this thing make it hard to film inside, but the interior is pristine and the dash looks really cool. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to see through the tinting. Every little detail is perfect on these things. Oldsmobile 8, California. It's really cool rear tail light design that goes into this chrome and painted red decoration on the rear fender. Very cool car with a really huge trunk. Could fit a family in that trunk. 
And there's the old Ford. 39 Ford, probably, something like that. Beautiful shape, classic design. Coupe. A little teeny tiny back seat. But that was really a two seater in pristine condition. Looks so modern. And headlight detail. Ford V8. Deluxe. Ford V8 Deluxe. Customized convertible something or other. Car. Really cool interior. And you don't know what it is. It's just a kit car, probably. Fuel injection. Oh my god. Goodness, fuel injection way back then. Amazing. It's a Chevy. Interior is pristine. It's an automatic with fuel injection. All original dash Chevrolet. Cool. Another classic Ford V8. No seat in the back. Nice and cozy interior. Beautiful dash. This is not the deluxe, this is just the Ford V8. Cool headlights. Plymouth GTX 440. Beautiful looking machine. Convertible. Totally pristine inside. All vintage and original. Instrumentation GTX Plymouth. Oh, look at that. It's an old Monterey. Is that a Nova? I'm sure if that's a Nova. Chevy Nova. Yes. Chevy Nova. You can tell by the shape of the trunk. Another car I used to ride around in when I was a teenager. Check out this sweet looking Impala, you guys. That is one beautiful machine. It's all tricked out. It's all plush inside. It's got all the original instrumentation. It's got this totally cool dual uh, antennas that go up through the second layer of the fin. The big old extended fins. Yeah, and that's just cool. Impala. Yeah. Curdy. Look at all the chrome on that thing. 
bitch in detail on the headlights. Pretty cool. Just thought I'd share it. Get the hood ornament on that thing. It looks like a jet plane. And so we can see inside. It's all pristine inside. Very cool interior. And the bell air. And uh, let's see, over here we got the Chevrolet. Chevy. Ooh, look at the design on that, so cool. It's all wide. Impala. Got the big fins on it. Impala. I tried to make these things look like rocket ships. And they did a pretty good job, I think. Cuda 440 Plymouth. Barracuda. Very cool. You don't see a lot of these around. 440. Nice and clean inside. Classic 70s style. The Super Sport here. El Camino Super Sport. I almost bought one of these when I was a teenager. Not the old Camino, but just the Super Sport. So cool. Alright, well. Oh well, there's a couple more here. There's an old uh, classic Ford here. Classic Ford wagon. It's beautiful. Good ornament. Very cool. And chrome all the way around. Pristine interior. All original instrumentation. Everything's perfect. The fast lane. Or fast lane. back to rear headlights are really cool I mean rear tail lights duh <laughs> backup lights are right there I guess too and then we got the Chevrolet truck nice old Chevrolet truck in great condition Cheyenne. Super. <laughs> Seems like just yesterday I remember cruising around in a truck like this in New Mexico. A little center seat that folds down. Pretty cool interior. Fancy hood caps. Chevy truck. Cheyenne Super 10. Alright, so that's your car show. Morrow Bay car show for you. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, the rest of the, my little tour of Morro Bay. Uh, it's been fun to show it to you. Here's the rock in the background.
stacks over there. All right. Well, after having a pleasant meal at the Hungry Fisherman behind the Morro Bay Beach Inn, I'm relaxing in my room and watching the sunset behind Morro Rock. Beautiful view from here. The sounds of the ocean. Old glory waving away there. And it's pretty nice. I'm really happy with my room. Really content. The Motel 6 in Morro Bay is uh, not bad. Um, it's cleaner than most Motel 6s you've been in. Slightly better condition, I guess. Maybe it's just because it's newer, I don't know. You know what I like about Motel 6? Is this second story always has this sort of uh, parapet or walkway that goes all the way around the building. And uh, so you can kind of take a walk all the way around the upper story of Motel 6 usually, and come back to your room. And if you get tired of walking one way, you can turn around and walk the other way. Regardless of which way you walk, you usually get a pretty good view from the second story. And you can even see more of rock from the Motel 6. Over there is the beach and there's a trailer park over there. Across the street is a high school. And there is Highway 1. And then we'll just continue our walk here around the building. It's been nice staying here in Morro Bay. And I just started a new job in San Luis Obispo with a new firm, uh, a new firm for me, <laughs> doing uh, a lot of the same stuff I was doing for the law firm back in Santa Fe. And uh, I just started today. Today was my first day. and going to go again tomorrow. And uh, it's always kind of scary starting a job at a law firm. You never really know how it's going to work out. Not every attorney you work with is a little different. So there's always some anxiety about whether I'm going to be able to perform the way they expect. Um, usually, I know I have good skills, but, you know, um, sometimes different attorneys need different skill sets, and uh, they have different expectations of their legal assistants and paralegals. So, anyway, this is Motel 6 in Morro Bay, and we'll just uh, tag this right on with the rest of the Morro Bay tour for you guys to look at. Hope you enjoy, hope you're all enjoying this video. I'm going to go to bed and take a nap.
the older I get, the more urgent it seems, you know, that I get things done. And yet, also, I get more and more of a sense that nothing really matters. I've been a worrier most of my life and I'm just getting too tired to worry anymore. When I'm really, really struggling with the anxiety, I just uh, kind of reach a breaking point and then I just let it all go. and. Uh, just realize that, you know, in this universe there's only so much you can do. We don't really have free will. We just do what we can.